and you laugh and she's like, I wish I could get you to do it again. The Spratly Islands are a group of islands in the West Philippine Sea, formerly known as the South China Sea. Located 450 kilometers west of Palawan, they are being contested by China and the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries. The first batch of the tour, dubbed the Great Kalyan Expedition, held in March 2023, was successful. Great Kalayaan Expedition. Yan ang tourism project na naglalayong maipakita ang ganda ng Kalayaan Group of Islands sa Palawan. Layon din daw nitong mapalitan ng imahe ng lugar na pilit inaangkin ng China. It was attended by a 40-person team of journalists, bloggers, Kalayaan officials, recreational divers, game fishing, photographers, members of the technical group, and some invited guests. The tour kicked off in Porta Princesa, Palawan, with the tour members boarding the Philippine Coast Guard's largest ship, the BRP Melchora Aquino. The seven-day and six-night trip covers the islands of Pagesa, Lawak, and Likas, as well as Patak Island, with activities such as bird watching, diving, and game fishing. Aside from the unpredictable sea weather conditions, the greatest challenge of going to the Spratly Islands is the ever-aggressive Chinese Coast Guards. On February 6, 2023, the Philippine Coast Guard accused the China Coast Guard of pointing a high-grade military laser at its crew, causing temporary blindness. The incident took place in the Ayanjin Shoal, which China calls its own Renai Reef. The Chinese Foreign Ministry issued a statement citing that the Philippine Coast Guard trespassed on the Nansha Islands, or Spratly Islands, without permission from the Chinese Coast Guard. The Philippines, in turn, had filed a diplomatic protest. The highly contested South China Sea Islands and their surrounding waters are believed to be rich in oil and gas, and bountiful fishing grounds are being claimed in entirety by China. Through the years, China has been building and expanding its military presence in the South China Sea. On July 12, 2016, the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea ruled in favor of the Philippines, declaring its maritime sovereignty within a 12 nautical mile radius as Philippine territory. But China rejected the outcome, citing the Nine Dash Line as their historical basis for owning most of the South China Sea. This has further angered neighboring Asian countries such as Japan, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Malaysia. This year, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. granted the U.S. access to four additional Philippine bases as part of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement of 2014. This, we hope, will deter China's aggressive stance and thereby bring stability and balance to the region. Following also the issue of a possible attack on Taiwan, which China claims as one of its rogue provinces. With the success of the first batch of the tour, the second batch is going from May 29th to June 4th, 2023, and is being attended by travelers coming from France, Australia, and Switzerland. Furthermore, the success of these trips will ensure the bright future of the Philippine tourism sector. Most of the tiny islets in the Spratly Islands are just waiting for their beauty to be discovered. Ken Hupanda, the Kalyan's tourism officer, said that it's our right to assert territorial integrity through soft diplomacy. If all these trips are going well and without incident, Ken and his team plan to rent a yacht in the future to ferry tourists to their island hopping destinations. The Great Kalyan Expedition ticket for a seven-day and six-night trip will cost 85,000 pesos, or $1,700. The package includes accommodation fees, glamping, spa services, and other onboard payments. For now, the expedition will cater to 20 people per tour. And who knows? One day, part of the Spratly Islands will be turned into the next Maldives in Southeast Asia. We are in Maldives!